Great news, everybody. Disney sued for anti-male sexism. They finally got it right. Men are finally taking action. And I know a lot of my subs have come in and rightfully they felt defeated. And they'd say this would never happen. But apparently there is a limit, right? The feminists cannot hold back their hatred. They just keep going and going and pushing the boundaries. And finally it is happening. So Disney is being rightfully sued, finally, for the sexism that is betrayed for years now. Now, let's hear this. I'm going to borrow Nerian's because he covers this. Thank you, Nerian. I'll put you in the description box. But, and that this was the reason why they did reshoots. Yet again, I might add. Something that would support this is that recently a leaked scene from the Snow White movie has popped up on the internet and caused a massive uproar from people online that have accused the scene of sexism. Because Disney for some reason decided to change core aspects of the scene, like to- Not for some reason. It's a hate movement in charge, Nerian and context compared to the same scene in the original classic. So here's a short comparison of the two and their noticeable differences. Now you wash the dishes. Now you wash the dishes. You tidy up the room. You tidy up the room. You clean the fireplace. You clean those cobwebs. And I will use the broom. And he'll use the broom. <laughs> While the scene is relatively similar, there are differences that fundamentally change the entire character of Snow White and her relationship with the dwarves. Changes that have caused a massive backlash. Yeah, uh, she's a good person in the original and she's a bad person in the new version. People have been calling out how in the original, Snow White sounded not just much nicer, but gave everyone a task while she herself helped in cleaning the house. Me yeah. You wash the dishes, you dust, you sweep while I sit on my arse and read my own tweets. Thank you, Joes. <laughs> you see, men are actually recognizing what this is about. Guys, so don't lose hope. Meanwhile, in the new version, she had a much more commanding tone and ordered the dwarves around, while she herself didn't help with anything. Another core difference is that in the original, Snow White found the house while no one was home and decided that with the help of her little animal friends, she would clean the house to surprise the owners once they returned. The owners later turned out to be the dwarves. Meanwhile, in the new version, the dwarves are already home and she pops up and starts commanding them around to clean their own home. A ridiculous change that also caused many complaints online. Like this comment here writing... Not a ridiculous change, an evil change. Imagine being the dwarves in that situation. You get home from a long, hard day's work in the mines, sweaty and tired. You find this random woman chilling in your house and decide to offer her shelter, out of the goodness of your hearts. Then she rewards your immense kindness by lecturing you about how dirty your house is and forces you to clean it up, without so much as offering to help at all. Truly a heroine for the modern age. Thank it is a, a, a modern heroine. Because men are the heroes and the women aren't in real life. For example, look, this has been going on for a long time. Maleficent, right? Maleficent uh, took the, uh, they got rid of the prince altogether. She ended up delivering the kiss of love. They, they got rid of the, the male lead all together. The men do not get to be the heroes. When did Maleficent come out? 2019. So this has been going on, that's five years ago. So this has been going on for a very long time. So obviously, uh, people care less, uh, so much more about Snow White than they do about Sleeping Beauty. They, the feminists just keep going. They push boundaries until there's some kind of pushback. I mean, take a look at Captain Marvel, right? Captain Marvel breaks a man's hand simply for coming on to her. He wasn't a bad guy. He wasn't a villain. He didn't commit a crime. He just came on to her and she says, okay, I'm going to show you contempt, the female contempt for men. And I don't want things to change, in, to, tell, to be honest, because 
the mask is off and I want the mask to ever go back on. I don't want to go back to the old days where women pretend they like men. I like it the way it is. Thank God no one is going to watch this film. So people are complaining that Snow White was changed from this kind character that wanted to help the dwarves into this new arrogant character that instead bosses the male dwarves around and rather than helping them, she just forces them to clean. And people are also saying that through Snow White's tone, she makes out like because they are male, they don't clean or do any work. And no Exactly. Exactly. Thank you for admitting that. This, this is the core of the issue right here that has always been sidestepped up to this point. Guys, this what's going on here, Disney, is, is like the typical abusive relationship between a, a woman and a man, where the man is abused. The man will take the abuse, you know, there's like five years ago where it is, yeah, the man will take the abuse and, you know, like Maleficent here, and he'll just sweep it under the rug, and hope it'll go away, right? But five years later, it's not going away. So finally, so the guy says, something has to be done. No matter your or mine opinion on this, considering the massive reaction this scene received online just shows how many people out there view this scene as discrimination. And the timing of this leak couldn't be worse for Disney, as this can serve against them in court by showing just how the company's attitudes have changed and how the current culture- The company's attitude has changed, yeah, but this has been going on for years. For years. Disney is biased against the male gender. On top of that, thank you, thank you. Biased against the male gender. Someone has actually finally said it, guys. So cling on the hope. This could then be coupled with interview clips of Rachel Zegler, Snow White's main star, where she jokes about her male co star having his scenes removed from the movie. We can she doesn't joke, she bask. She bask in the idea of it. She loves it. She's just a man hater. She's a feminist man-hater, hired by feminist man-hating Disney, and she doesn't know enough not to say the quiet part loud. Cast a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. Yeah. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut, who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. Not a nice thing to joke about. But cons not joking, she's basking again, Marion. You, know, the, you, you, you guys got to get it right. She's loving this. It's not a joke. Considering the prince not appearing much in the trailer, if he even appeared at all, it's very likely that Disney did indeed reduce his role to the point where he maybe barely appears in the movie. It's things like the interview clips. Yeah, they're racing positive male characters. Because they hate men, duh. Like the leaked scene from the film, coupled with the statements made by the senior vice president of the company that already give lawyers a big basis to work with, to paint a picture against Disney. Um, there is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. You clean those cobwebs. You use the broom. She's gonna be safe with the prince and she's not gonna be dreaming about true love. Certainly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, She's not going to uh, make men seem valuable. That's why they're against the love story. The love story says the woman values the prince. And that's gone. The mask is off. There have been times where, you know, there's, where they, there's no way we're hungry away now. It's kind of it's, yeah. unspoken. Uh, there are times when it's spoken. Yeah, there's times when it's spoken, yeah. Yeah, it can't just be unspoken. When these feminists dropped in, they told tell men exactly what that's going to happen and what's go what they're going to do. There's no way they aren't. They're not going to hint at this. They have to tell men, we're a discriminatory institution. This is what we're going to do. There's definitely a lot to work with for those lawyers to win the civil rights complaint, with probably a lot more out there, and even more once the movie releases. So I wondered about, what if this leaked scene is actually something that Disney went back and reshot and changed it from what we saw there to something that's a little more down the middle for the final film? With Exactly, so this is why I say I don't want things to go back. 
What he's saying is they're putting the mask back on and hoping people will say, oh, yeah, okay, this is good enough. The, the feminists push boundaries until they find out how too far is, you know, how far is too far. Then they back up. But what they're backing up to is always going to be anti-male. That's why Disney needs to be sued into the ground. But because the feminists are never leaving and they're never going to make pro-male content. So they have, Disney has to die. It's that simple. I think I've made my point and we will end it here.